Good morning, folks. So we had quite a few gobblers on the roost down the ridge. And once they hit the ground, they just shut up. I don't know if the camera picked it up, but there was a helicopter that direction. And from the moment we got in the woods until just a little bit ago, it was just running. It wasn't moving. It was just running. And it was so loud. You could barely hear the birds gobble. Kind of sucks because we couldn't tell when they flew down. Couldn't tell where they were. And when they finally shut up, slowly moved my way down the ridge where I heard them gobbling. And when we got down there, there was the neighbor who, who does hunt from time to time. He was at the top of the ridge with his back to the property line. When the best bird activity is in the bottom that he owns. but So we got within probably 40 or 50 yards from him. He didn't know we were there. I recognized the calling of another hunter. So decided to come back where we started this morning. And now we're set up on this alfalfa field. There's a lot of scratching in here, back over my left shoulder right here. Tons of sign of birds. And the landowner, her house is just right up there. Uh, she texted me about a week or two ago, and uh, she always sees birds right here. So we got the deeks out. Gonna sit here for a little bit, do some blind calling, and hopefully something happens. But Kind of disappointing start to the season, but at least we're in the woods. All right guys, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon. Made it back to my parents' farm. So it was about a two hour drive from where I was hunting this morning. Tons of, tons of birds gobbling on the roost. Once they hit the ground, didn't really hear too much activity. The weather's really similar to uh, Saturday, that youth hunt. That youth hunt, it was sunny. The birds weren't gobbling. The weather was nice, no birds strutting in the fields. So, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm in the woods. Uh, it's still pretty bright in this patch of woods here. It's younger growth. But um, I'm going to try and get one of these afternoon gobblers, man. Uh, hunting, hunting long beards in the afternoon in the hardwoods, it can definitely work. If you can get one to gobble, it's a great strategy. And right now I'm sitting on an old logging road that runs back behind me here. I just entered the woods. I'm just off the field, if you can't tell. But, uh... I'm just going to move from spot to spot. I'm going to hit some calls. I'm going to try and get into a nice shady area and kick back and relax for a couple hours and try and get a bird to gobble. Okay, so maybe you guys remember, maybe you don't. I did a video on preseason turkey scouting the hardwoods. See that bare dirt? All through this area, it's fresh. Right here in this little patch, all this is tore up. I'm gonna look around a little bit more, but I think I may just sit down right here. All right, folks, so like I just said, Pre-season scouting, if you're new to turkey hunting, you know, learn how to find turkey sign in the hardwoods if you're hunting hardwoods. This sign looks fresh. Like, it looks like this morning this was done. So, I have one decoy at five yards. I got another decoy at ten yards because that's, I'm about five yards from this patch of ground that they've just tore up already today. The bad thing about doing a blind setup like this is I have no idea where these turkeys are going to come from. I've only killed one bird on this particular part of the property. So, there's a logging road right back behind me, right here. That's a logging road. 
and I can see down it probably 80, 90 yards at least. It kind of flares out around where I am right now. I've got good tree cover around me, good undergrowth. It's a nice thick area, especially to my right. So I'm hoping I came from back behind here. So I'm hoping that these birds come straight on if I can get them to come in. They've got to be somewhere close. You know, this sign is fresh. It's only about 2 o'clock now. Beautiful day. Like I said, I'm going to sit here quiet. Occasionally make some calls on my custom glass pot calls. And hopefully one comes in for us. Opening day. One of my favorite days of the year, guys. I just had a hen. Just had a hen pop out in front of me about 60, 70 yards. She was traveling across the uh, logging trail. I think she was alone. I just happened to look up and I caught some movement in the brush. I don't think she saw me. She didn't she didn't alarm putt. I was just starting to doze off too. I just happened to look up. I didn't hear anything or nothing. Just looked up and there she was. <laughs> 